In this video, I will explain the various cells of the immune system using only chainsaw man waifus. I'm both a weeb and a grad student majoring in immunology. So thinking about immune cells is my 9 to 5 and thinking about anime girls is the rest of my day. Now there are a lot of anime and manga with deep and complex characters, but chainsaw man waifus in particular have a lot in common with immune cells. For starters, both chainsaw man waifus and immune cells are constantly on the prowl. Their jobs are to protect and to attack and fend off enemies. For waifus, these enemies are devils, zombies, or members of the Yakuza. For immune cells, these enemies can be bacteria, viruses, or even cancer. Waifus and immune cells work with other waifus and immune cells when they attack, and each waifu and immune cell has its own special set of powers, each with its weaknesses and strengths. There are 10 main types of immune cells in our body, and 10 tasty waifus that I will use to explain each cell. So let's begin! We're starting off with my personal princess, Power Chan. Now power is definitely a neutrophil. Power roams the streets, and neutrophils circulate in our blood in search of infection, injury, or prey. Neutrophils are super quick to sense a disturbance in the force, and when they do, they're often the first to arrive at the site of action. Neutrophils do not hesitate to jump into battle and fuck foes up with brute force. Neutrophils are simple and almost crude. They're not that good at discriminating between friend and foe, and they often have to be put into check by more intelligent members of the immune system. Even the way that neutrophils and power attack is kinda similar. They both summon or squeeze shit out of their body. For neutrophils, these stuff are called granules, and even though neutrophils don't have arms to clobber away with their secretions like power does, these secretions themselves are super toxic and can cause serious harm. If neutrophils or power use up too much of whatever they summon, they're out of the fight. Power gets anemic, and neutrophils, well they die by a unique form of cell death called netosis. The picture that you see here is a brave neutrophil that's died by netosis, and this shit is called netosis because the remains of the dead neutrophil resemble nets. Both power and neutrophils have no problem eating their prey, no matter how disgusting that prey may be. Power, however, is a slightly pickier eater than neutrophils because neutrophils are really good at eating, or as scientists like to call it, phagocytosis. The biggest way in which neutrophils differ from power is that there are a shit ton of neutrophils in our body, hundreds of millions circulating in our blood right now, but there's only one power in my life. If the immune system was to have a main character, it would be the T-cell, and so it only makes sense that T-cells are represented by the main characters of Chainsaw Man Manga Part 2, Asa and Yoru. T-cells, like main characters, are complex, and each and every one of the millions of developing T-cells in our body is slightly different from all of the other developing T-cells in our body. Just like how Asa and Yoru are polar opposites of one another, T-cells can be classified into two very different groups. The first group of T-cells are called cytotoxic T-cells, and these cells are toxic, aggressive, and really fucking good at attacking. These cells are Yoru. The second group of T-cells are called regulatory T-cells, or T-regs, and these cells don't like fighting and really want to turn all that aggressive shit down a notch. These cells are Asa. T-cells are different from neutrophils, aka power, in the sense that they take some time to develop and to realize their full potential. When you get sick, it's neutrophils that are the first out of the floodgates to start fighting against a virus or pathogen, but it's T-cells that eventually stamp that shit out of your system for good. T-cells take around 5 days to get battle ready, just like how Asa takes fucking forever to do something. But when they're ready, it's game over. The disease and the devil are gone. T-cells also have memory, just like how Asa has PTSD. For example, if you got hit with Omicron, the T-cells in your system remember getting hit with Omicron once. And if Omicron tries to slide into your DMs a second time, your memory T-cells will remember that shit and fuck up the second coming of Omicron without needing to get primed up all over again. T-cells take around 5 days to get primed up in the first place because they need to get educated and developed by an immune cell known as the dendritic cell. In other words, T-cells are absolutely owned by the dendritic cell. T-cells are the dendritic cell's bitch. And so if T-cells are Asa and Yoru, the dendritic cell is the control devil. Now I know in the manga, Asa and Yoru get slapped around by the control devil in their uniform, 
but for the sake of this immune cell analogy, I want to equate the dendritic cell, the control devil, as Makima. Now at first glance, the dendritic cell doesn't seem all that imposing. You learn that the dendritic cell is the immune cell that bridges all of the different immune cells together, and that it takes information from simple innate immune cells like neutrophils and relays that information to teach more complex adaptive immune cells like T-cells. Similarly, Makima seems like a harmless kawaii waifu at first, who as a higher up is able to command and coordinate the movements of the underlings at Special Division 4. But the more you learn about dendritic cells and Makima, the more you realize that they're the masterminds of the immune system and of Chainsaw Man. If Makima or dendritic cells tell you to attack, you best believe you're gonna attack. If Makima or dendritic cells tell you to shut that shit down, you shut that shit down. If Makima or dendritic cells tell you to bark, you bark, 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 bark. Dendritic cells can sometimes fight for the good of humanity by coordinating attacks against dangerous infections and even cancer. But dendritic cells can also cause significant harm to humanity as well, causing other immune cells to go berserk. All the autoimmune diseases that people suffer from, such as type 2 diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, and Crohn's disease are caused by immune cells that have gone berserk because dendritic cells made these cells go berserk. What influences the dendritic cell's decision to orchestrate either offense or defense is still poorly understood. In other words, the dendritic cell, like Makima, is still shrouded in mystery, and the extent of its powers is unknown. Now I haven't forgotten about Nayuda, I just wanted to assign her to a different kind of cell. Nayuda is a monocyte, an immune cell that's most famous for being a fucking baby. Monocytes are undifferentiated cells, which means that they still have some ways to grow. Monocytes love two things, eating and action. So you can bet monocytes will be racing to the site of action whenever there's inflammation, infection, or injury. Monocytes are known for differentiating, which is the scientific word for growing up. Monocytes can differentiate into the two horsemen of the immune system, a dendritic cell, aka Makima, or a macrophage, which is basically FAMI. FAMI and macrophages are both powerful as fuck, but all they love to do is eat. They love eating so much that that's their forte. Macrophages can eat bacteria like you're seeing in this video, but they can also eat viruses, cancer cells, dead cells. They can eat practically anything. Basically, macrophages are the bokbang YouTubers of the immune system, just like how Kiga is the bokbang waifu of Chainsaw Man. You can't talk about the immune system without mentioning B cells, the immune cells responsible for generating antibodies, just like how you can't talk about season 1 of the Chainsaw Man anime without mentioning Himeno, the character who generated almost all the fucking ending songs. B cells have an almost zero combat rating. B cells have given up their ability to directly kill other cells in exchange for the ability to produce antibodies, just like how Himeno gave up her right eye in exchange for the ability to summon the ghost devil's right arm. Antibodies are basically a big buff to other immune cells and drastically boost their killing powers. The boosting power of antibodies is reminiscent of how Himeno-san's petty and empty dialogue boosted Denji's motivation to fight. This may be just me, but when you first learn immunology, B cells seem really fucking important, and you're taught a lot about them. But the more you dive into the subject, the more the focus seems to shift to other immune cells. Himeno likewise seems like a super important character at first, but after chapter 50 it's like, man, I got way too much emotional baggage to remember Himeno. Come on! Speaking of forgotten waifus, we got Yuko in the house. Much, 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 much. I know, literally who. The cell she's repping is also a literally who. It's the eosinophil. Saying the eosinophil is your favorite immune cell is like saying Yuko is your favorite waifu. You don't exist! Nobody knows much about eosinophils apart from the fact that when they start to accumulate, they begin to contribute to allergies. And Yuko looks like she has a ton of allergies. So yeah, if you've had an allergic reaction, your eosinophils were overactivated, and you probably look like Yuko. Not much to say about this cell or this waifu. Eosinophils are kinda unappreciated because not much research has been done about them. And you probably won't learn much about them unless you're diving really in depth into immunology. Let's instead talk about a waifu that we can't forget. Reese. Now Reese is sexy as hell. There's no immune cell that's as sexy as Reese, but 
But I just had to let you know that I fucking love Reese. Reese is the Bomb Devil hybrid, and the Bomb Devil hybrid of the immune system is the basophil. I mean, look at this little fucker. All those balls inside it are bombs that it drops on some poor invader's head when the basophil gets activated. Basophils account for just 0.5 to 1% of all of the immune cells in our blood. They're one of the rarest kinds of immune cells, just like how hybrids like Rhees are one of the rarest kinds of characters in Chainsaw Man. Unlike neutrophils which mostly die after excreting the weapons inside them, basophils are more durable and are able to survive even after dropping bombs, a testament to the durability of hybrids such as Rhees. While we're on the topic of hybrids, let's talk about the second last set of waifu and immune cell, Chen Shi, the crossbow devil hybrid, and the natural killer cell, or NK cell. Chen Shi's a fucking killer, and so are natural killer cells. I mean, it's in their name. Natural killer cells are sorta of old school. They don't need no education like T cells, and they don't grow up like monocytes either. Chen Shi is also old school in the sense that she's often considered the first ever devil hunter, and she uses crossbows a primitive weapon. But don't underestimate the killing power of Chen Shi and natural killer cells. These motherfuckers are strong, and under the right circumstances, they can eradicate practically anything, from parasitic worms to cancer. In fact, there's a lot of exciting research going on involving NK cells in the fight against cancer, but I'll talk about that in another video. The last set of waifu and immune cell that we'll be talking about is Kobeni and the mast cell. Now this is a match made in heaven. Both Kobeni and the mast cell are most well known for one thing. Freaking out! When a mast cell senses a disturbance, it goes off. It starts rapidly releasing a barrage of chemical fireworks consisting of stuff like alarmins and histamines, which alert all the devil hunting immune cells in the vicinity that something's wrong. Just cause mast cells and Kobeni are basically the scream portrait equivalents of the systems that they're in, doesn't mean that they're just a meme. Kobeni's got moves a lot of different kinds of moves. And similarly, the killing potential and versatility of mast cells is super underrated. I mean, look at these mast cells fucking up these ping pong ass looking bacteria. Hell yeah, Kobeni. Hell yeah, mast cells. And yeah, that's basically the video. A brief recap, powers the short-tempered neutrophil, Asa and Yoru are main character T cells, Makima's a dominant dendritic cell, Nayuda's a baby monocyte, Fami's a hungry macrophage, Jimeno's a supporting B cell, Yuko's an allergy eosinophil, Rhees is a bomb dropping basophil, Trenji's a natural killer cell, and Kobeni is a m -m 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 mass cell. Hope you found this interesting or informative. I plan on talking about anime and science some more in the future, so if you enjoyed, please subscribe. See you next video.